Welcome back, everyone, to another discussion about anime, and today we're talking about my first impressions of Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer. This one, I'm completely unaware of, never heard anything about it until I saw the anime, you know? And it's about this uh, kid named uh, Amiyi, or, uh, uh, oh my god, Amiya, oh my god. And he, one day, sees this talking lizard who says that he's been chosen and that the lizard's a knight and all this kind of stuff. And that they need to find the princess to prevent the destruction of the world. And he, of course, is like, what the hell, a talking lizard? And yeets the thing out of his window, but it teleports back to him. Because apparently it can't get without a certain distance of him. If it goes out of that distance, it like teleports back or something like that. Is what was described by the lizard. Regardless, he meets this uh, lady, this uh, girl here, named Asahina Samidari, or Samide, I don't know. These names are a little long for me, so I hard to pronounce them. Anyway, uh, Asahina is uh, the princess in this particular matter, and she is going to save the world. So that she can destroy the world herself. Yeah, it's weird, right? And after she says this, this guy's like, all right, I'm in. Let's do this. Right? And so it begins this, like, tale of uh, Amiya trying to get stronger so he can better use this, like, it's like a weird barrier power kind of thing that he has. Because the more strength and stamina he has, the better he can use the barrier and the princess is already crazy strong and like punches these like golem monsters and whatever. But the, the main problem is this biscuit hammer, which is floating like in Earth orbit or something. And there's this, I don't know, cosmic entity or something that wants to destroy the planet. And the biscuit hammer goes around destroying planets, is what happens. Now, why the biscuit hammer is in orbit and hasn't already smashed the planet is not said. Like, there's a scene in the opening where the biscuit hammer very swiftly smacks down and, like, destroys the Earth, you know. But it just seems to be floating there, not doing anything. So it's like, why doesn't it just smash the Earth right now before these people have a chance to destroy it or stop it or whatever, you know? It just doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sold on the whole premise of the show, if I'm being honest. It's uh, not really clicking with me. The first two episodes weren't, like, bad by any means, but it just didn't pull me in, so I'm probably not going to watch the rest of it, if we're being honest. It just uh, lacks that certain something to get me really hooked. Not to mention the, uh, the main character, Amaya. He's kind of annoying. So is the lizard that he's with. They're kind of annoying together. And uh, actually, there's no real likable characters that I've liked particularly. Uh, yeah. Even the, the princess Asahina is kind of annoying. We're being honest here. Although I guess Asahina's older sister, who is like the uh, college professor who teaches uh, Amiya, um, she's kind of okay, I guess. But for the most part, I don't know. It, it's a little bland. Not really much for it, for me. And uh, I just will be watching the rest of it. So, yeah, that's about all. Let me know what y'all think. But uh, for me, it's, it's, it's done. I'm not going to continue watching. So thank you all for listening, hanging out here, and until next time, I'll catch you all later. Bye for now.